Good morning, Western Hills. My name is Cameron Kersey. And I'm Gage Kill. And these are announcements for Friday, May the 30th. Coming to you, back where it all started, in the green room, for the last broadcast of the year. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now, for a moment of silence. Yearbooks are here. They will be distributed in the library on Tuesday, June 3rd during lunch. Please do not come and ask to get your yearbook early because you will get turned down. If you did not order a yearbook, extras will be available on the 3rd and will cost $65 cash or check. Remember that all checks must include two phone numbers and a driver's license number. There are a limited number of extra yearbooks available on a first-come, first-served basis. Ms. Jordan will mail a final transcript to your college if you pick up a yellow form and envelope from her office, fill them out, put a stamp on the envelope, and return them to her in the registrar's office. Please do not wait until the last minute to take care of your hold. Ms. Jordan can assist you with clearing your hold in the registrar's office. Ms. Pritchett states that under no circumstances should teachers allow students out of your classroom to play pickup basketball games in the gym. She is following Mr. Wellman's directive and can't permit students not in PE to hang out in the gym. Perhaps she could arrange a trade if absolutely necessary. If you have to send your kids to the gym, she can send all the PE kids up to you. All the students cover your ears for the next statement. Rule of thumb. If you don't want them, she doesn't want them. And this is from your favorite librarian. If you receive a note from Miss Landon about overdue books or fines, please take care of it immediately. No. On Friday, May 30th, a hold will be placed on the accounts of students who owe books or owe money. That's today, kiddies. Book or hold, remember, you don't have to pay your entire library fine at once. You can pay a dollar one day and 50 cents the next. You can even give Miss Landon a handful of pennies, whatever you got in your wallet. Yeah. Just be responsible and pay your fines. And then the recurring theme about passes. Mrs. Landon reminds you that teachers must give students a pass to come to the library during class time. Students, ask your teacher for a pass when you come to the library. Mrs. Landon is going to send students back to class if they do not have a pass. Okay, now you've done it. You've made Mrs. Landon type in all caps. And that's why I was reading it all big, because it's in all caps. And Miss Landon's a sweet lady, and now she's yellow. She's not an angry person. These are a few last minute announcements that we just got. Students, if you are attending TCC in the fall and want to participate in the honors program on campus, scholarships are still available. Please see Mrs. Sloan McGraw or Mr. Bateson for more information. Students, if you have 10 or more absences in any one class, you will need to attend tutorials with your teachers. At this time, we do not have any more attendance recovery scheduled for the year. Fort Worth ISD has approved the following attire for graduates. 1. Young men may wear a buttoned-up shirt with a collar and dress slacks. A tie is suggested and appropriate, you know, like a bow tie. Dress shoes should be dark and may not distract from your outfit. No code is necessary. See Mr. Bodine in room 114 if you need a tie. 2. Young women may wear dresses, skirts, and business style blouses, slacks, or pantsuits. Dress shoes. Height of the heel is up to the student. Wear the white collar that comes with the cap and gown. No tennis shoes, flip flops, or blue jeans. See Ms. Khan in the main office or counselor if you need to help getting a cap and gown. Reminder, graduation rehearsal is Friday, June 6, 1.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Students must report to graduation on Saturday, June 7 at Wilkerson Grannis Activity Center by 1 o'clock p.m. Enter through gates 2 and 3. Now, we're not trying to get you to tear up here, but, but we're out here a little teary, you know? But let's, let's go ahead and take a look or, or, or where, let's take a look where we, where we started here at Cougar TV. So... Just go ahead and take a look, okay? Just look at it. Good.
Good morning, I'm AJ Daniels for Cougar TV, and thanks for making history with us. I'm Emily Mills. Today is Friday, October 4th, 2013, and like AJ said, we're making history because this is the first ever video announcement. Guten Morgen, Fester News! Ich bin Cameron. Und ich bin Denver. And we are here to pop you up! One, two, three, four, good morning, Western Hills. We say good morning, Western Hills. My name is Cameron Kersey. And I am Dinba. And by the way, this isn't because we love each other, it's because we don't have a heater in here. And I'm Dinba Blackwell. And I'm Shane Little. And we hope you have a more heated Monday. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Justin, the great bloodletting is upon us. You mean with the leeches? No, this is not the 16th century. I'm talking about the JRTC Red Cross blood drive. And we all we also have a gift for you. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your hearts be light. Next year all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. I'm a father, I'm a teacher, I'm a Christian, I'm in great peace, I am Jeff Johnson, and I am Western Hills. My fellow Americans, for far too long we've ignored the issue of literature. We need to take action, or face serious consequences. epidemic doesn't end, then we can't stop it. Stop what? Why don't you throw your trash away? You don't understand. It's following me. Thanks for watching, Western Hills, and have a great summer. Have a great summer, Western Hills. I'll see you next year, but I'm a senior. See you next year. Have a good summer. From the creative team, the All-Star Group. Goodbye, Western Hills. Goodbye. Hey, Western Hills. See you next year. Good night, Boston. Good night, News. Good night, Western Hills everywhere. Remember, Western Hills, for all this summer, WWBD, what would Ben do? Have a good summer, Western Hills. I'll see you next year. Stay classy, Western Hills. Remember, abstinence is better than AIDS. Hi, I'm John Jackson. Have a great summer. If you failed a class, make sure you make it up this summer. My name is Evan Douglas, and have a good summer. Enjoy the air conditioner while our football players are swimming out in two days. Oh, hey. It's been real, Western Hills. This isn't goodbye. Well, I mean, I guess it's goodbye till next year. But goodbye. Oh, and hey, you, good luck on those end-of-course exams, because we got the best out of the whole district. Yeah, I'm giving out free hugs. Oh, hey, by the way, I meant congrats, not good luck.